We're heading right to the coalface to check out the big Kenworth C510s. All over the world, night and day, mining is big business and has been for some time. Not only is there a big shortage of manpower, there's also a big shortage of mining machines and none more so than a scarcity of tyres these machines use. To compound the problem, haulage leads, that's the distance from the coal pit to the processing plant, are forever increasing. On top of that too, these massive dedicated heavy duty dumpers are only efficient on short leads up to 20 kilometres and even then it's pushing their limits. Not to mention construction and maintenance of their haul roads is approximately double that for a conventional road train. How to get around this problem is one that has evolved over the past few years through much perseverance by operators, mining companies and some inventive Australian trucking manufacturers. The concept is simple enough. Get the biggest, toughest Kenworth truck and connect it to a string of trailers and load them up with, say, around 300 tonne of coal. Today, many mining operators, including gold and mineral ore operations, are utilising Kenworth C510 coupled to power trailer sets and they've quickly gained an enviable reputation for reliability, productivity and economy. That's vitally important in the mining game, where production costs are measured in cents per grams of saleable product. Kenworth set a new benchmark in extreme duty workhorses with the release of the C510 some years back and since then the evolution of this model now includes a twin steer variant with options for on and off highway applications. Like many coal mines in central Queensland, the Burton Downs mine operates seven of these Kenworth C510s coupled to the five trailer power trailer sets. They carry a massive 300 ton payload and have a gross combination mass around the 450 ton mark and travel at 75 kilometres per hour. These Kenworth C510s at Burton Downs Mine are specifically designed for off-highway use and rated up to 250 ton. They're powered by a Cummins 19 litre QSK19 engine that pokes out 606 horsepower at 2100 RPM with peak torque of 1950 pounds per foot at 1300 RPM. Other key components include an 18-speed transmission with a first gear ratio of 14.4 to 1 through to 0.73 to 1 in overdrive. Rear axles are Axle Tech STRC 1297 hub reduction. They're basically the old Rockwell off-road model with a final ratio of 9.59 to 1. Apart from fitting the enormous engine into the chassis, the most significant challenge for the Kenworth engineering team was providing sufficient cooling for the power plant. The cooling package consists of a massive 1900-inch radiator and a special charge air cooler, which meant a significant increase in the grill size to allow the vehicle to operate under ambient conditions in excess of 50 degrees Celsius. Meantime, back to that tyre shortage we mentioned earlier. The Kenworth C510 is shod with 38595 R25 tyres fitted on 10-inch rims, which are essentially a small mining tyre. However, the trailers use standard on-highway 295 80R 22.5 tubeless tyres, which are not only in vast supply, but considerably cheaper to purchase than mining tyres. The trailers are manufactured by Smith Trailers and Gimpy, who specialise in heavy-duty mining applications. With the exception of the power trailer unit, all the trailers run on heavy-duty 3.2 metre wide BPW axles. These power trailer units have a Smith-built body on a Powertrans chassis and they're fitted with either Cummins ISX or Signature engines rated at 450 and 500 horsepower. They're coupled to an Allison automatic transmission and tri-drive Susu hub reduction axles. The control of these trailers is via both a cab-mounted hand throttle and married to the accelerator pedal. The advantage of this, for instance, is when the unit is climbing a hill, the trailer can be set at full throttle, and when the driver changes gear in the Kenworth C510, there's minimal road speed loss, as the trailer is still pushing the unit. The power trailers have a rating of 200 ton, which, when added to the rating of the Kenworth C510's 250 ton, 
give a rough combined rating of 450 ton. An impressive sight is to see 300 ton of processed coal loaded into these units in three minutes as they slowly roll under the massive storage towers. This processed coal is taken to the mine's rail siding, which is then loaded for the final leg to the port for export. On the return run, the units bring back raw coal ore from the pits, which is loaded by massive cat wheel loaders. The C510 model range is a prime example of Kenworth Australia's ingenuity to produce low volume, high load capacity trucks for niche markets. And we're told that Kenworth are the only Australian manufacturer that has the design capacity, technical expertise and resources to custom engineer trucks to meet the challenging needs of specialist niche markets with high quality and quick turnaround. Before our tour of Burton Downs Mine ends, we'll leave you with the sound of the Kenworth C510 and power trailer at work. And they're working too. <laughs> 